हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम अरमान एंड यू आर वाचिंग निंजा इराकी दिनार यूट्यूब चैनल होपफुली यू ऑल डूइंग वेल गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस फॉर यू ऑल आई ट्राई माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू ऑल लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट इराकी दिनार सो गाइस लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे द इंफॉर्मेशन एज वी अप्रोच द एंड ऑफ द वीक इट सीम्स दैट सिग्निफिकेंट डेवलपमेंट्स आर ऑन द होराइजन अकॉर्डिंग टू रीसेंट अपडेट्स एवरीथिंग शुड बी सेट फॉर अ मेजर अनाउंसमेंट आफ्टर मार्केट्स क्लोज ऑन फ्राइडे allowing us to schedule appointments and potentially begin exchanges starting Saturday. Redemption Center staff are expected to be active on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which bodes well for the upcoming days. This could lead to an exciting and potentially transformative weekend. Stabilizing the exchange rate is crucial, as many people are eager to see changes in the Iraqi exchange rate. Before any adjustments can be made, it's essential to stabilize it. This process is particularly timely as countries globally are shifting their focus from oil-dependent economies to more diverse revenue sources to boost economic stability. Today's discussion delves into this shift, particularly through the lens of financial advice provided to national leaders. Countries rich in natural resources and agriculture are embracing this economic diversification, potentially leading to a significant economic transformation. This transition is significant as it signifies a broader economic Renaissance. Historically, reliance on oil has exposed nations to the volatility of global oil prices. By diversifying into other sectors, these nations are laying the groundwork for sustainable growth. For example, investing in infrastructure such as roads, ports, and storage facilities is crucial for supporting the export of natural resources. In addition, developing agriculture into a robust supply chain where farmers receive education. market access and government support plays a pivotal role in this shift reducing debt is another vital objective in this transformation by increasing non-oil revenue countries can accelerate debt repayment which in turn fosters economic growth real world examples like brazil's focus on agricultural exports and vietnam's advancements in coffee and rice production illustrate how non-oil sectors can drive economic progress for the average person This shift towards a more diversified economy can lead to various benefits such as job creation, improved public services, and a higher quality of life. However, transitioning to a diverse economy is not without its challenges. Effective planning is required to ensure balanced growth across different regions, and attention must be paid to environmental sustainability and the education and training needed for new industries. Supporting these efforts can be done in multiple ways. including engaging with local businesses advocating for better policies and raising awareness about these economic changes the interconnectedness of the global economy means that every action contributes to the larger picture as we reflect on these developments it's clear that maximizing non-oil revenue could serve as a model for many other nations it emphasizes the importance of sustainability infrastructure and education in achieving long-term economic success. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this economic shift and any similar changes you've observed in your own country. Feel free to share your opinions in the comments. And if you found this discussion valuable, don't forget to like and share it with others. Stay tuned for more insightful content as we continue to explore these crucial economic transitions.